All right, folks, this is the first time that I've ever been down Glen Devon, and today, or tonight, I should say, the plan is to get halfway up and around the Glen Shirup Horseshoe Circuit, which is a nice high level route. It takes you around a few hills and back down, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's a new area to explore, and it's fairly local to me. Tell you what, there's lots of wild raspberry bushes here. Hmm, tangy, it's quite nice. That's me being going for 40 minutes now, and I've just literally reached this little cairn here. This is where I turn off and head into the woods on my own. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's go. Right, so the route's got us going up through a fire break. So what I'll do is I'll just get my head down, get up this fire break, and I'll bring you back out the top. Just because it's pretty dark and you can't really see much. And why am I speaking like that? The lesser spotted Robin goes through the woods. Anyways, I shall bring you back. Well that only took 10 minutes to get through the fire break. Now I'm making my way up to the first summit which is Inner Downey and if I find a decent pitch I'll be in our sleeping bag. So <laughs> let's go and that's doing my nothing by the way. Just came over the brow of the hill and then my summit just appeared. It's not looking too bad. Probably about a kilometre and a half to go and it is 20 past 8 so that leaves me plenty of daylight to snoop around, find a pitch. The only thing is, I've not collected much water, that's all I've got. So that wasn't the brightest, I was meant to pick up some through the woodland but I didn't actually see any streams. Oh, joys. Where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? That wall gives me a bit of shelter. It's not the most level though. Let's have a wee look around. Right, quick update folks. I have found a little built-in shelter into the side of the hill. Unfortunately, it's too rocky and bumpy to pitch the tent next to it. So I have just come out a little bit more. It's a little bit exposed to the wind, but nothing major. As you can see in front of you, I've got as best a rectangle as I possibly can. So now I'm about to stick the trekking poles in and see how she goes up. One side. Two sides. Despite that lumpy bumpy ground, it's actually quite tight. It is very tight. It is tight like a tiger. <laughs> They're funny looking tents, aren't they? They're not the best looking, but it's got to be function over fashion, isn't it? If it does the job, that's the main thing. Because I'm a complete numpty and I only have 300ml of water with me, I've got a choice. It's either the cup of soup or the Horlicks. Have a guess, which one do you think I'm going to pick? It's a bit of a no-brainer to be honest. Drum roll please. Yep, you got it right, the Horlicks. It is half nine. Why would you have a cup of soup so late on? So, I'm going to boil up this bad boy. It's a shame though, because I did bring a roll with me to stick the noodles in. So, 
I'll eat the roll anyway. <laughs> Not with dry noodles though. So the missus must think I'm bonkers. I'm 30 miles away doing a wild camp when I could be sitting watching Netflix with her cosy on the couch. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> Cheers. Right, I'm just getting ready for bed and I realised my mat is round the wrong way because of the slope so um, it's not the... I fold this in half <laughs> well, that was easy enough I think Right, um, There we go, that wasn't bad actually I think I've done it the right way I've took a bit of a gamble folks, what I've done is I brought along a little Aldi sleeping bag that I purchased recently it's their Adventure Ridge Ultra Lightweight sleeping bag it's for summer, it goes to about 10 degrees celsius so I hope I'm not too cold tonight um, packs up really small I don't know the weight off the top of my head, what I'll do is I'll weigh it when I get home pop on the screen now and I'll also let you know how I get on with it in the morning and what temperature it is but yeah, um, I just find that quilt too hot in the summer months, it's a shame. I should have, I said before, I should have went down to the minus one rather than the minus six. It's just too warm for this time of year. But it does cover me for sort of spring autumn as well, so it's not all bad. Good morning, campers. It is 20 past five, and I had a pretty good sleep until the rain started about half an hour ago. It's off at the moment, but um, I'm going to get up and get going. Anyways, the sleeping bag, um, it was alright actually, I, uh, I slept well enough. There were some cold spots in the sleeping bag, so I think I've definitely met the comfort limit. Condensation's not too bad. Just a very fine layer. You ready for the tent reveal? Brace yourself folks. <laughs> wow. What a fine viewpoint this is. Super boss. With the claggy conditions, I've decided just to retrace my steps from yesterday rather than doing the full horseshoe route. I'll save that for a nicer day. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this up now. If you've watched this far, thank you very much. And I'll catch you next one. Cheers. <laughs>